And I'm just telling us, like, I'm just saying, like, we got some dry places in our life. And God can bless you in those dry places. He can throw a whole river in a dry place. But you have to accept him. You got to hear his word. Now, this is the part that a lot of times when we hear certain messages like this, what we what we do is people are selling them to us as like some fake get get faith quick scheme. God can do it. Like, I ain't selling you no, no, no fake stuff. Like what I'm saying is like there, there is a work like faith without works is dead. Just like I said earlier, you got to make a move. Accepting Christ is a move. Accepting your calling is a move. Accepting your purpose is a move. Walking in your purpose is a move. Changing the behavior is a move. Looking in the mirror and saying, I need to stop doing this. Repenting, it's a move. And what I'm saying is that if we do these things that God is calling us to do in his word, he can put a river in a desert. Like God can build something new again. All right, let me see what y'all saying over here. Jen, what up? Speak to the dry bone. You feel what I'm saying? What up, Jen? Coming in here dropping bars. All right, so now I want to talk a little more in depth. I, I just want to talk like practically about some of, you know, what we talked about a little bit today. And I got one more example. I am example, man, for the people who listen to this show. I got, I literally have examples for days. I can pull examples out of my back pocket. I don't know why I can do that, but I can't. All right, so um, let's see, what, maybe 10, wow, 10, 11 years, 10 years ago now, right? 2013, wow, uh, 11 years, I guess. Um, man, we we were building our first house, right? And so, and I've told this story on the show before, before we were a video, so if you've been on an audio show, you heard this story. But we were building our first crib and at the time for us, I'm like, I know y'all probably all build houses every other day now, but like for me, that was a big deal. Like coming from where I come from, grow, building our credit, saving money, doing everything, me and my wife. So we were building our, our new house. So we moved in this new house and whatever it may be. And I remember finding out what it used to be. Woo! Cause let's be real. Sometimes when we get new stuff, we don't really ask what it used to be. So like, you know, cause I'm like, all right, they building 200 houses on this land. What did this used to be? And I found out that it used to be a school. And I was like, okay, I started thinking through it. I'm like, this is interesting. This whole property where they came and built 200 houses, it used to be a school. Now think about this. I know it might've been a good school. I'm, I'm sure the teachers were blessed. Like, God bless you. I hope that, you know, like, I hope they got better jobs, a new job, new opportunity, got put in a better school, whatever it may be. Like, I'm sure that the janitor was good. Maybe the maybe the basketball team was good. The, the cheerleaders, they were the best. Whatever it may be, right? It could have been a good school. But it had to get towed down so I can get a new house. All right, I I, I look I know that don't that don't sound fair yet, but I but I'm going to make it make sense. Sometimes we can hold on to one thing so long because it's good that we can't get to God. You have to let go of good to get to God. And some of us are looking at a good thing that's good in 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 our natural eyes as a human being and in the natural realm, we're looking like this is too good to let go. But God is saying, if you let that go, I'm going to build something new in this place.